So the last thing you want to happen is have your car shut off while you're flashing a tune. I make sure my car is on the trickle charger. I've got the C-Tech lithium charger here plugged into the anti-gravity battery. So we don't have to worry about it dying halfway through the tune being flashed onto the car, right? So, so here's the website. You're logged in, you can change your password or you can just click on the tune and you'll see the details and instructions here. So this is the starter file. This icon in the bottom left is to download the revision. This is to upload your phone files. And then this is to just leave a comment for DRob. And you'll see all the instructions here of what he's looking for. So for here, he's looking for one cold start and then idle to fully warm. And then one stop and go driving about 15 minutes, one cruising at speed 15 minutes, and then a single wide open throttle pull on a flat section starting at 2000 RPM and revving to red line in third gear. So he wants you to perform every wide open throttle in the same spot, same direction. And that's just for good continuity for the tune, right? And you want to do that log last. Also, you want to do all the logs on the same run. So a good thing I recommend is to kind of envision in your head the route you're going to take. So you're going to do local, of course. So what I do is I go local, head south on a local road for about 15 minutes, hop on the highway north for 15 minutes. That's the cruising one. And then I, when I go back down, there's a straight that I always hit the wide open throttle log on. All right. So here's how to flash the tune. What I like to do is I download the tune and then I'll put it in its own folder, revision one here. We'll open Honda Flash Pro. I like to run it as administrator. Okay, so at this point, you're just going to press the ignition button twice. And once you plug in the USB cable to the Flash Pro, you'll see on the bottom left here, driver's good, Flash Pro's good, OBD2 is good, ECU is good. You just go to this open folder icon and that's gonna say, choose an existing calibration. You'll go over to the tune file. Over here, I got it under revision one. Open that file. And as soon as you press this up arrow, it'll upload the calibration to the ECU. Okay, and that's it. You wanna make sure that your car stays on, of course, and you'll see the RPM slowly go up as it tunes. All right, guys, at this point, you've got your new tune revision flashed onto the car, right? What I like to do for the cold start is I put the car into the accessory mode by hitting the start button twice. You'll notice the data log light flashes very quickly. If you push the data log button, it'll slow down, as you can see. And then I'll start the car. So at this point, it's creating the data log. And all you have to do is leave it until your water temp reaches the center area and your car is warmed up. You're going to leave the car on for about 10 minutes. So you can step away if you want and come back. Let's pretend at this point your car is warmed up and it's been 10 minutes. So at this point, your data log light is still flashing slowly because it is recording. All you have to do to end the first data log is push the button again. It'll go back to flashing rapidly. Typically, the data log that DRob asked for after the cold start is stop and go traffic. Whenever I do a data log, what I like to do is turn off the VSA. You'll see the button over here on the left. Press and hold it for a couple seconds and VSA is off. From here, you want 10 minutes of stop and go traffic, right? I've noted that the time now is 10.50, so I'm going to push data log and drive around to 11 o'clock. Okay, so now that we're getting on the freeway, we're gonna hit the data log button again. Now I'll stop recording the stop and go traffic, and we're gonna prepare ourselves to do the cruising data log. Okay, so 
Now that we've reached about 70 miles an hour, I'm gonna push the data log button again. And we're just gonna cruise for 10 minutes. It's 11.04 right now. We'll go to 11.14 or 11.15. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's hit the data log button. So, so far we've done three data logs. The first one was cold start. Second was stop and go traffic. And our third one was cruising. D-Rob wants a third gear, 2000 RPM pull. All right. Third gear, 2000 RPM. Hit the data log button. Wide open throttle. data log button again and we're done sometimes you're gonna ask for like a second gear third gear fourth gear wide open throttle pull sometimes it'll be just third so yeah it all depends on what he asked for but is that easy just make sure that VSA is off hit the button before you do the pull wide open throttle all the way to red line like don't let off early uh, don't give it 95% throttle literally just pedal to the floor okay so we just got back from logging and so we're going to open the flash pro manager we've got our flash pro plugged in click on the flash pro tab up here and then go to data logging you'll see all your logs here they're going to be saved in numerical order so the last four are the ones that i need to give drob right so data log 15 we're going to save that and we're going to save it in that revision one folder just to keep track of it and to help Rob out. I'm going to save it as cold start idle. Then the next one in progression is going to be stop and go. Which means data log 17 is cruising. And lastly, data log 18 is your wide open throttle pull. Okay, so we got them all saved, right? You can see them here in your folder for revision one. Go back to the website, click on upload data logs and upload them. So they've all been uploaded, right? You can also download them, he can download them. You can leave a comment here. So, And you'll see your comment here. When you receive another revision, it's gonna have its own separate tab. It'll say number two. You can upload the files to that revision there. What I like to do, I go to my tombs folder and in preparation of that, I'll make a revision two folder. So whenever the tune comes, I'll download it, put it in this folder and the logs in this folder also. Just in case, so if you wanna look back, you have logs for revision one saved, like you know exactly where it is. And that's all there is to it. You're gonna go back and forth. He's gonna send revisions. You're gonna go out, get logs, and upload them to the website. It's that easy.